rubber. So we want to see how does rubber contribute to the economic development of Liberia. The cutoff of the population of Liberia say that they always depend on rubber growing. Most of the people in Liberia they depend on rubber growing. So we can say that it creates jobs to people. Rubber growing creates jobs to people. Then into it attracts tourists who bring income. Like there are many of us who are in class today, and you have never got a chance of seeing a rubber tree. So you may visit Liberia, and you get that chance. We have it even in the DRC. Just maybe what you need to do for such programs. Just call those numbers you see scrolling on your screens. Then also it promotes the development of roads or rubber growing promotes the development of infrastructures. Rubber growing promotes the development of infrastructures like roads can be developed because these plantations are basically found in remote areas. What the government does is to go on improving on such infrastructures in that particular place where the farms are located. Then he, it is a source of income after selling rubber. It is a source of income after selling rubber. I think you can argue with that. Then lastly, rubber is used as a raw material in agro-based industries. Rubber is used as a raw material in agro-based industries. Agro-based industries are industries that use agricultural products as their raw materials. So, there are some industries that use rubber as a raw material. So in brief, these are some of the facts that you can contribute to the economy. This is